You know, I got new shoes, I got my hair flat iron, I got wax, but I didn't get the Brazilian because it's a special day. I got the Hasidic, and that's when they wax you down the middle and leave the curlies on the outside. <laughs> Cha-Cha, who's with me? <laughs> Sometimes I like dread it and braid it and it's all uh, <laughs> things you do at night. Um, <laughs> so I recently moved back home because my mom's been having trouble paying both our rents. And <laughs> so bad, I'm back at home with my Persian mother and my Iranian brother. We call him an Iranian because he smells like cologne. <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> a lot of people are always like, I mean, what's a Persian? What's a Persian? I think the best way to describe a Persian is that we're kind of like Ugg boots. We're like brown, furry, and sweaty, and nobody can figure out where we're so damn trendy. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's idea of couture is a dry clean only tracksuit. <laughs> My mom's motto is, if it doesn't say Gucci, it does not belong in your coochie. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Persian. Thank you. You know, it's funny because my parents were immigrants and I was a first generation American who, uh, who I'm so glad that they did come over. But like, I think that they don't understand the little nuances of like naming your child in America. Because do you want to know what my mother named me when I came out of her womb? Nadine is actually now my first name because we had to change it. Uh, she named me Nagar. <laughs> you guys realize that? Like, like, you can't say that in America. It means beautiful painting in Farsi. It does not mean that in America. <laughs> Could you imagine getting a trouble as a kid? My mom's always like, Nagar, please. <laughs> Her name is Homero, we call her Homie for short. <laughs> so at the dinner table, it's always like, can you pass the salt in the gosh? Her thing, Homie, hi. <laughs> My dad's name's Tony, short for Mohammed. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> you know, it's funny being at home again because I can't come home drunk anymore because, like, your mom always knows what's going on. Like, like she'll let me drink, but she always knows, like, how much you've had or whatever it is. And, like, I had nobody, like, she's always monitoring me. Like, in college, like, I drank every day because nobody was there to monitor me. Uh, don't worry, I went to a four-year, so it's all good. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> I did, I drank watching TV. I was that girl that drank in the shower before a party so nobody would catch up to me. <laughs> like, you come out, they'd be like, you gotta catch up, three beers, three beers. I'm like, I did a cake stand in the shower, what? <laughs> you catch up. <laughs> I drank on the internet. One day I was surfing the web, drinking a beer, and my roommate came in. She's like, Nadine, the first sign of alcoholism is drinking by yourself. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm in a chat room, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, she can have cyber sex, I can have cyber beer. So gross. <laughs> so bad. You know, it's funny, because I, I met my best friend in college, and, uh, and actually, we, we used to play against each other in, uh, in soccer before that. But, uh, it, and I'm not trying to brag by telling you guys this, but it's a true story. My best friend is the heir to the food court fortune that's known as hot dog on a stick. <laughs> yeah, you know the girls that make lemonade like this? <laughs> lemonade? <laughs> but she has no concept of money ever. Like, like literally she has so much money, it's just coming out of her butt. Like, and, and she has zero concept. And she's always like, I'm broke, I'm broke. You're like, really? Because my definition of broke is I can't eat. Her definition of broke is I can't do cocaine this weekend. <laughs> 
One time she was in between houses and she's like, dude, I'm totally homeless. I was like, bitch, you're an escrow. <laughs> So bad. It's funny because like I, I visited their uh, family over the holidays and I've known them for like a long time now and and her mom's always like prancing around going, this is Courtney's best friend. She's Persian. She's Persian. She's Persian. And she goes, Nadine, where are Persian people from? Like it's so exotic, right? And I'm like, well, we're from Iran. And she looked me square in the face and just went, ew. <laughs> Funny. I was such a prude uh, growing up and I never used to watch porn. And do you guys watch porn? <laughs> I never really watched porn until I got to college, okay? I lived in this house with three guys. We used to call it the slut hut, okay? Not because I was a slut, but because they're always bringing sluts home. But I was always like, doesn't anybody want to have sex with me? No? Okay. <laughs> I roofied myself. <laughs> Won't count. <laughs> but I'd always come home and then like, they'd always be watching porn and then I'd be like, I, I became obsessed because of the storylines, right? Like I'm that crazy person. You know that this is gonna happen, but I'm that crazy person staring at the pizza right here going, eat the pizza, eat the pizza. When are they gonna eat the pizza? Like I'm like, I'm total ADD right there. Then I totally became obsessed with porn storylines and I was like, oh my God, there should totally be a porn character named Earl Grey and all he does is teabag people. <laughs> but, but he only makes cameos, right? Like, so there'll be like some people doing it right here and he comes in and he's like, Psh. he's like, Earl Grey! 